Hello again, this is Doug the Too Many Gardener, and today we're going to take a look at 20 great plants for Japanese style gardens. So, this has been a question I've been getting more and more lately. A lot of people are wanting to shift their front yards and backyards away from just plain grass to something a little oriental in feel. So, these are the 20 plants that I like to use for Japanese style gardens, and they're broken down into all the different categories grasses, perennials, trees, shrubs. So, and as always, there is a list in the video description of all of these plants. Now, some of these plants are shade plants, some of these plants are sun plants, and I'll kind of walk you through all of those. So let's get going. So first up, we have the grasses. Uh, I love this grass. This is Lomandra, also known as Dwarf Matte Rush. Comes in the regular green and this newer variety called Platinum Beauty. Looks really silvery, really pretty blowing in the wind. Next we have Miscanthus, maiden grass, maiden hair grass. Can be also called zebra grass for the variegated form. This gets a little bit bigger. It can get about three to four feet tall. And again, really pretty if you have a yard where the wind blows it back and forth. It gives a really cool look. There is the variegated one, zebra grass. Next one is Clumping Blue Fescue, really compact, has that nice blue color that contrasts really beautiful, really looks good in mass like you see there. All right, let's move on to the perennials, and one of my very favorite is Clivia. Now, Clivia, also known as Caffer Lily, is one of my favorite plants to put under trees and shady gardens blooms in the springtime great color also comes in yellow you can get this yellow but orange is the more common uh, uh, color that you'll see clivia come in again really great plant for under trees uh, okay the next one is dianella also known as the flax lily really pretty can take a little bit more sun than clivia has the regular leaves or you can also get the variegated leaves like you see there and it has those really cute little dainty blue flowers that are really neat as well bears breach has these huge flower stalks that come out giant leaves here in San Diego, it's going to want a little bit of shade in the afternoon if it's planted inland, but you can put it full sun right on the coast. And of course, Agapanthus, very, very tough plant. I love the dwarf Agapanthus, the Peter Pan, or the Tinkerbell. Those are nice and compact. Next, we're going to have the vines. Now, on the vines is two of my favorite kind of vines. Really great for covering up fences. First is star jasmine. Star jasmine is a really great vine because it is drought tolerant. And it covers a pretty nice section of fence. If you can use it on a fence or as a ground cover. And what's really neat about star jasmine is the fragrance. Oh my goodness. This is just a glorious scent in the springtime when it pops out these wonderful white flowers. Again, really nice and hardy, drop tolerant vine, great for fences, ground covers. You can use it lots of places. My favorite use is for a fence. If I need to get rid of an ugly fence, this is my favorite plant. It's also pretty cold hardy, uh, which is great for different parts of the country. There you see we used it cascading over a, a banister to another spot. And there it is as a ground cover. Really great for ground covers too. Really hardy. The other vine that I really like to use is pink jasmine. Pink jasmine is a little bit more aggressive, a bigger vine, and it also has a great fragrance in the springtime. It's called pink jasmine because as you can see the flowers before they open, are pink okay let's move on to shrubs shrubbery shrubbery lots of different options here for Japanese gardens this one's called the elix sky pencil or sky pencil holly really great for vertical areas this plant just goes straight up about five to six feet and of course boxwoods are used all over America you can grow them together as a solid hedge or you can manicure them into these cute little balls and of course, one of the most famous of all Japanese style plants comes from Japan. It is, of course, the camellia. Now, camellias need really, you know, good low pH soil to really thrive. 
and really do well. There's basically two different kinds of camellias. There's the original Japanese camellias like you see here. And then there's also the camellia sasanquas, which can handle a little bit more sunshine here in Southern California. They will slowly get about six to 10 feet tall. There are some camellias in Japan that are actually 10 to 15 feet tall. And again, lots of great colors. Here's a fun little new plant. This is a cousin it plant, also known as cousin it acacia. A really kind of cool mound of plant that kind of looks like a crazy cousin it. All right, let's talk about some big plants. Silver sheen pittosporum has this really cool foliage, gets about 15 feet tall, kind of nice and airy. And then here we have the Chinese fringe flower, Laura Petalum, really nice little pink flowers, really kind of dainty, useful for part sun or full sun on the coast. Another great screening plant is the longleaf podocarpus. It's called longleaf because it has long leaves. Um, plant a bunch of these together and they'll have a beautiful green screen. Something that has some colorful foliage are the caprosmas, uh, also known as the mirror plant really great for various you know greens reds pinks there's about 20 different varieties of caprosma on there um, so they're really kind of neat again a little bit of shade in the afternoon if you live in really hot hot areas but full sun right on the coast privet a great privacy plant you can use as either a totally nice manicured hedge or just let it grow wild and it also has beautiful flowers very fragrant in the springtime all right let's look at a couple trees for being a focal point in your garden the first is of course the japanese maple now this one's called blood good because it has the bloody red leaves they're really kind of neat the other one i like is the coral bark which is called coral as you can see because the bark is this bright orange coral and then finally of course my favorite tree that i I use a lot, a lot for all kinds of purposes. The forest pansy redbud. This is a really neat tree and that it has the pink flowers in the springtime that becomes a purple flowers and then in the fall it has this beautiful beautiful foliage. Well there you go those are the 20 great plants I like to use for Japanese style gardens. Again there is a list in the video description of all these plants in case you couldn't quite write them down that quick and also some links on where you can buy some of these plants so definitely check out the video description to get a little bit more information. Well, that is all the time we have for now. I want to thank you so much for watching. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get more of my videos in your inbox. Until next time, this is Doug saying thanks so much for watching.